Hey guys, here's just a, a quick video on the uh, Gold Zero Yeti 400. Um, I basically bought two batteries uh, that match the manufacturer's spec. Um, bought a toolbox, hooked up the... There's two 45 amp Anderson ports that come out each side. And since I'm using one hand, anyways, I've got this strap, bungee strap, that kind of keeps it on there pretty good. But let me show you the batteries here. You just basically snap those out, like such. Battery comes out. So I basically took a milk carton, milk crate, or milk carton, hacked it up just to kind of make a seat for the Yeti 400, bolted it to the top of this uh, cobalt two box. That's got a um, weather stripping in there, so it keeps the battery nice and tight. I added a little voltage meter on there that's connected to one of the batteries, just to make sure that those batteries are always uh, um, charged. Now, when you hook up the two batteries with the Yeti 400, when you go to the Yeti, Yeti setting here, uh, just hold it down for a few seconds and you'll be able to uh, scroll so you, you, you can change your, your inputs and outputs. I'm sorry, not your not your input, but your, your output. And if you set the to 12.7, that gives you the battery level of, of this goal zero. But once you connect the other two batteries together, this will read all the batteries together and it'll give you the, the reading, the voltage for all three batteries connected together. So anyways, uh, here's the cobalt two box, voltage meter on it packed up crate kind of uh, bolted to the top of it so anyways inside I've got the uh, two 12 volt 35 amp hour 310 hour uh, I'm sorry 35 amp hour um, batteries which which matches the specifications of the battery which is inside the goal zero there so there's that set up there and I've got it on a on a custom little one of those portable dollies that you buy uh, you know Lowe's or Home Depot as you can see there uh, just to make it portable uh, bolted the toolbox to the underside of the uh, of the dolly platform so it's real convenient to, to lug around uh, combined together with the three batteries and the dolly and a toolbox it's, it's probably it's it's probably close to 60 pounds but it's not that cumbersome with the uh, with the dolly. It works out pretty good. Anyways, I uh, just want to make this quick video. This is actually my first video I ever post on the YouTube. Uh, I'm a I'm a YouTubeaholic. I get a lot of ideas off of YouTube, and and this was one of them. So I figured I'd pay it forward and show somebody my idea or, or my uh, interpretation of somebody else's. I typically they use a whole rolling toolbox like I've got here. Um, but I didn't need something that big. I wanted something smaller that I can just you know, throw in the back of my truck and, and wheel into the house if I had to. So anyways, I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, God bless. Take care.